Hey, Rich and Robbie, Merry Christmas. Um, I was, Rich, I was just watching your little Christmas treat to the world here, and I noticed something that I want to point out to you. Um, you probably already know this, but just in case you don't. So I'm watching you tabbing through your uh, apps here, and I know, what is the, actually, what is this one? I don't know what that is. Anyway, and I notice you have the uh, screen flow icon here. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to point out, if you don't know this, there is a way around that. Um, when ScreenFlow first came out, I was doing a lot of work for Apple, and I contacted them and I said, gee, guys, I'd love to use your app for my Apple projects, but I can't do it if there's any evidence of it running. So they actually wrote a couple of features into it, I think for me, that made it so you can run final, uh, ScreenFlow without it showing up in the application switcher or in the dock. So I want to show you how you do that. If you launch the app and you go into the preferences, all right, what you have here is a couple of uh, a couple of features. What you want to do is you want to click on the startup launch ScreenFlow helper at user login, and then of course you need to remember what your um, recording hotkey is because once you launch the ScreenFlow helper at user login. Um, ScreenFlow will always start recording even if the application isn't running and with the application not running it will not show up in your dock and it will not show up in your application switcher now currently I have it running because I wanted to show you this feature but anyway click on that little guy and then you're gonna have to log out and log back in remember your shortcut and now you can start a record at any time and in one at any time, just like I'm going to do right now. Later.